In this video, we are going to look at Unit 7, Lesson 9, which is part to whole. So let's see what we can figure out about a circle if we're given information about a sector of the circle. So by the end of this lesson, you're going to be able to find the radius of a circle when you are given the central angle and the arc length. So let's take a look on page 203 at activity 9.1. So this one gives you um, the radius of a circle is 10 centimeters. And then it gives you the arc length is pi centimeters. So what you need to do is try to figure out the measure of the central angle. Okay, that would give you this information that if you had a radius of 10, you would end up with an arc length of pi. So what central angle is there? Here's a couple different um, circle formulas as well if you need them. So go ahead and see if you can figure out what the central angle is given that information. If you're stuck, come back to the video and I'm going to give a little bit of help. So if you were struggling and need some help, okay, here's kind of a picture. So we've got the radius, we've got the arc length. So could you find the whole circumference? And why would we be looking at the whole circumference? And that's because the arc length is part of the entire circumference that we looked at in lesson um, eight. So this arc right here is part of the whole distance around the circle. So if you could figure out <clears throat> you know, the whole circumference, Maybe you could figure out then what portion of the circumference this is. And then that would help you portion it out to that central angle. So see if you can use those suggestions if you were stuck to come up with the answer. And then come back to the video and I will um, talk through it. All right, so because we have the radius here, remember that we can find the circumference, which is two times pi times the radius. So if we did two times the radius, that would be 20 and then pi. So 20 pi for our circumference. So this is our whole circumference. So our entire distance around is 20 pi's. And this arc length that we have is one pi. So that means that this, okay, is 1 20th of the entire circle, okay? If I looked at, I've got pi out of a total of 20 pi, okay, so this is 1 pi out of 20 pi, so 1 20th, if we um, simplify out those pi's. So that's 1 20th of the total circle, okay? So 1 20th of the circle is what we have. So if we just figured out what 1 20th of 360 is, or did 360 divided by 20, we would end up figuring out that that central angle is 18. So that is one way we could look at that. Since the lesson is called part to whole, okay, that would make sense to look at it that way. Um, so page 203, they give us um, a central angle of 45. And the area of this shaded sector is 32 pi inches squared. So Kieran says, can we find the area of this whole circle? So can we find the area of the whole thing, the arc length of this sector, and then the circumference of the whole circle with just these two pieces of information? So you'll notice they didn't give us the radius in this case. So pi r squared for the area or two pi r for the circumference. So this time they're giving us the central angle and the sector area. Could we find those three things? Priya says, but how? We don't know the radius. So how are we going to do this? So decide if you agree with either of them. Okay, so do you agree with either of them? And, um, then just then see which of these you can calculate okay so do you agree with either Pri kieran or priya and explain how you know and this is on page 203 in your book and then calculate as many of these as you can then come back to the video and we'll talk through it all 
All right, so did you decide that you agreed with either of them? Okay, um, and so Kieran is correct. We can actually figure out um, all of these. So did you come up with any of them? And so there's multiple different ways you could look at this. Um, but if we take a look at 45, 45 degrees, okay, um, 45 is half of 90. So this is going to fit into kind of this top half of the circle four times. So the entire circle eight times. So 45, this is one eighth of the circle. So if this is one eighth at 32 pi, we could just do 32 pi times eight, and that would give us the entire area of the circle. Okay, so 32 times eight would give us 256 with that pi, so 256 pi inches squared for the entire area. Okay, so here's our total area. Then if we remember area is pi times the radius squared, so we see that pi in here. So then that means this 256 must be our radius squared. So that will help us actually uncover what the radius is. So the square root of 256 is 16. So now we know that the radius equals 16. So we should be able to find the entire circumference and then also the arc length. So circumference is two times pi times the radius. So we'll do two times the radius. So two times 16, which is 32, and then pi for the entire circumference and the units there um, would just be inches. So then the arc length of just this little piece, remember this is one eighth of the circle. So one eighth of 32 pi or 32 divided by eight is gonna give us four pi for just that arc length. So when given, um, enough to figure out the portion of the circle that you have, okay? So you can figure out what fraction of the circle you have versus your kind of little sector area, or if they gave you arc length, you should be able to uncover the total. So um, again, looking at this, so what fraction of the circle was the sector? So you maybe just understood that 45 is half of 90 and maybe 90 fits into the circle four times. So then 45 is gonna fit in eight times and got one eighth that way. You also could have done um, 45 out of 360 and simplified that fraction. So 45, um, you could just divide by 45, and 45 divided by 45 is 1, 360 divided by 45 is 8. Um, so what is the, um, what if, that should say what if, what if the radius was increased, okay? So the radius that they gave us was 6, or that we figured out was 16. So what if they increased that 16 to a 25, but they didn't change the central angle. How would this portion of the, or how would that fraction change? Okay, and it wouldn't. So 45, no matter how big or small this circle gets, okay, no matter whether I make this circle bigger or smaller, okay, 45 is still gonna be one eighth of the circle. So by changing the size of the radius, it would not change. So it's still gonna be, you know, 45 out of 360, okay, which still simplifies to 1 eighth. So what if we changed the central angle to 135? So now we change the central angle to 135 instead of 45. So how would that change the fraction? So 135 is 45 plus 45 plus 45. So now we actually have three eighths of the circle. So now we're at three eighths instead of one eighth. So it's gonna increase that fraction. And you also could have looked at that again as 135 out of 360 and simplified 
um, the fraction there. So both of these um, divide um, down to um, 3 eighths. So changing, if we just change the size of the circle, but not the central angle, the fraction doesn't change, but changing that central angle size would change the portion of the circle that we're looking at. Um, and then 9.3 is an info card, an info gap activity that you would need to have done in class. Um, but a lesson synthesis here. So if we take a look at what we hopefully learned in those first two activities on this video. So suppose the arc of a circle. Okay, so the arc right here is pi over two units. Okay, so the arc length here is pi over two units. And the central angle is 90. How could we find the radius? So think about what fraction of the circle 90 is. Okay, so this 90 degree angle is one fourth. So we have one fourth of the circle. So we are going to have one fourth of the circumference, okay, is equal to that pi over two. So that's one way you could think about it, setting up an equation like this. So then you could just multiply by four that way. So then your circumference is going to equal 4 pi over 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So our whole circumference or our total distance around is 2 pi. Um, so thinking through an equation like that, the other way you could think about it is, again, 1 fourth. So we need 4 of these. So we would just multiply this by 4, which in theory is what we just ended up doing there. Okay, but you could think about it as we've got one part, one fourth is pi over two, so we need four of them, so multiply by four. So four pi over two, which again simplifies to two pi for the entire um, circle. So that gave us our, so this entire circle is our circumference, right? So whichever way you figured it out, um, ultimately we figured out our circumference is equal to two pi. So then you need to figure out the radius from this. So remember that your circumference formula that includes radius is 2 times pi times the radius. Well, we already have 2 times pi, so what would our radius have to be right here? So our radius would have to be 1. So our radius is 1 unit. And you could also certainly set um, these equal to each other. Okay, so you could say, all right, my circumference is 2 pi, so that's equal to 2 times pi times the radius. We need to solve for r, so we can divide both sides by 2 pi. 2 pi divided by 2 pi is 1. 2 pi divided by 2 pi is 1, so we're left with r, and you end up with the radius equals 1 that way through solving the equation that way as well. All right, so then lesson summary. So um, if you know the arc length, okay, so if we had an arc length, we figure out the portion of the circle that it is. So for this one, it's talking about 7 pi goes with a 90 degree central angle. Okay, and a 90 degree central angle is a pretty easy fraction to understand. So that's 1 fourth. So we would take 7 pi times 4 times it fits in there to get your full circumference. And then you know that that's the circumference, so you could just set it equal to the circumference formula to solve for your radius. Okay, so if we looked at this one, it'd be 2 pi r equals 28 pi. So then you'd know that this is your 2 r. Okay, so 2 r equals 28, so r equals 14. If you had harder fractions, okay, so a central angle that wasn't as easy as 90. So in this example that they have in your summary, they're doing a 216 degree angle. So you can figure out what fraction that is by dividing it by 360. So we have 216 degrees out of 360. In this case, they're talking the sector area instead of the arc length. So we'd have that portion of the total area 
we know they gave us as 135 pi in this example. So then you could solve, okay? So solve for the area by multiplying by the reciprocal here to both sides. Okay, which is where they get this um, 225 pi for the area of the whole circle. So then you'd set that equal to the area formula. So this is the whole area. So then we'd have pi r squared equals 225 pi. And this is just like that um, first activity we did. So now we see that r squared is equal to 225. So we can square root and get that r equals 15. So figuring out what you have part of, do you have a sector area so it's part of the total area or do you have arc length that's part of the total circumference? Figuring out your portion and working backwards. So go ahead and try this cool down where you have the sector of a circle has a central angle of 210 and an arc length of 28. Figure out the radius of that circle. So if you can do this, that means you understand the lesson. If you are struggling, be sure that you reach out to your teacher to ask for help.